Hi, it's Miranda. I've recorded a few videos, but every time I think I'm going to like maybe edit it and post it, I start and then I'm just like, I don't like this one. I could have done this better. I could have done this better. And um, I could do those better. And I did a bunch of little TikToks that I just, I guess mustering up energy just for short little things is just a lot easier right now because I don't know if you could hear it. I'm sick. It's definitely a cold because um, Donovan got sick first and then I got sick and um, I was taking him to the doctor right when I was about to start getting sick it seemed. And uh, his test came back, it was a cold. So I have a cold. It's just an annoying cold, it won't go away. And um, so I've been just doing random little TikToks. Even when I crack, I don't care. Like, you know, I, I don't care. I post the most random stuff, but look at me, I'm such a mess. I feel like it's almost cute length and then it's not and then it's I don't know if I should straighten it and I'm, I'm like sitting here like oh I should probably straighten it and then I straighten it and I regret it so I'm just not straightening it right now this is just hi I've got endometriosis and this is one of those times where it's affecting me and I've also got a cold so there's that hmm but what I really wanted to talk about in this video because I thought of it. So annoying. What I really want to talk about in this video. Uh, because Donovan fell asleep early tonight. Poor baby, he's, he's tired. I thought the best thing to do would be to talk about something that I really like. Even if it's something that other people are like, you like that? Or they've never heard of it. Okay, Xanadu. There's going to be spoilers. Okay, there's going to be spoilers. So if you've never seen the movie Xanadu and you don't want to be spoiled for the movie Xanadu, um, don't watch this video. If you've never seen the movie Xanadu and you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're like, what is that? Is that like, is that coming out next week? Xanadu is a movie that I believe, oh, shoot, I should have looked these things up. I'm not doing this professionally. I don't have a script. I, I, this is just somebody who's a fan of a movie. Okay. So if you like that, you might like this video and, um, Hi, I think this movie may have been born around the same time I was. I was born in 79, and I feel like that's one of those movies, like I think Star Wars was 77. Maybe one of them was, I don't remember. I know someone's going to be like, how do you not know the year? Because I just don't remember things like that sometimes. sometimes some of my years can tend to blend together a little bit. Some of them I memorize because of things that have happened, especially around things that have happened in the family and otherwise but in terms of that I just don't remember so I think Xanadu may have been born around the same time as me if not the same year and it had Olivia Newton-John in it and it had I don't remember their names like I said I didn't look anything up um well I shouldn't say names it had the guy from Warriors and everyone's probably like oh it's his name is blah yeah I forget I blank um but the guy from Warriors the main guy He's in that movie and Gene Kelly. And if you don't know Gene Kelly, think singing in the rain, that guy. Um, and he's older because this movie was in the seventies. Um, possibly, right? Or eighties. No, I think it was 79. I think so. So here's, if you want to know the premise of the movie, I'll, I'll try not to spoil it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's think about the first like few minutes of the movie. First few minutes of the movie, you see these, some something from graffiti come to life and they look like you know there's there's like eight women and they're they come to life and they're all shooting off in different directions yes what i'm saying is real they shoot off in different directions they're very by the way this is a musical and it's got music from elo in it electric light orchestra it is all amazing it's amazing um 
that's another thing. Let me say that right before I finish the plot. Lately, I've been noticing, well, not just lately, for a while now, there's been a resurgence of like future 70s, future 80s, like future 80s, future disco type of stuff. Um, all those regions, like you see some 80s stuff and then you see 70s and it's just all kind of like amped up to be a little, a little more than it was. And I think this movie is perfect for that. I don't remember details if anything specific in there would be deemed problematic or offensive now. I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to say that I love that movie and aesthetically, aesthetically there are parts of it that are very similar if you need a visual. Um, do you know the I'm Still Standing video from El Elton, oh my gosh, from Elton John? Because if you know what that original video looks like, there, there's things in this movie that you're just like, oh, that's, yeah, that's so similar, but it's, and more. So, okay, so they, they come to life, right? Okay, I'm, I'm back to the plot. <laughs> Trying to stay on track. I have a really hard time. I now recognize there are many reasons why that could be. But anyway. So they veer off into different directions and we get to follow one of them. That's Olivia Newton-John and she's on roller skates because, you know, roller skates. That's another thing. There's roller skates in this movie. There's roller skates. Um, so she's roller skating and she bumps into this random guy. Kisses him, by the way. Okay, there you go. I just remembered problematic. All right, there you go. There's the thing. Don't be kissing people without their permission. He smiles about it. And I know guys would be like, that's not a big deal. If it was the other way around, you know that'd be a big deal. So it's a big deal. Anyway, it's the movie. It's also, there's magic involved to so just do that. Magic. Oh, magic. Okay. So she kisses him and then she disappears. And he's, and he's like, hey. Oh. <laughs> he's so like, oh, that was great. So then he's thinking of her. And suddenly... Because this guy, we find out, is an artist. Suddenly we find out this guy starts putting her in his drawing, putting her in his art. And they're like, you can't do that. Like, we don't, we didn't ask you to do that. You were supposed to recreate album covers. And eventually we find out, I don't know how much of this plot I should be giving away, but just know it's magical. If you want to hear the rest of it, that would be kind of a spoiler even though you can kind of glean that there's magic happening and stuff like that. Okay, here's the rest of it. She's one of the muses of Zeus, you know, Greek mythology. Yeah, she's one of them. She starts saying it, but he, he cuts her off. Um, but she says, T and based on the fact that she's all music and stuff, I looked it up, she's got to be Terpsichore. <laughs> so if anyone else looked that up and you're like, yeah, I looked that up too, right? She's Terpsichore. She's like, and my real name is T Terpsichore. So anyway, I think there's another one with a T, but Terpsichore just matches. All right, I'm going to stop saying the name. Anyway, so this movie is just full of fun music, fun visuals, and there's one... Oh my gosh, I love so much about this movie. You don't understand. I even love the intro scene when they're all coming to life. Like I remember when I was younger, wanting to be Olivia Newton-John, <laughs> just watching her dance and look the way she looked I just wanted to be her <laughs> and it starts with an ELO song while these women are dancing to it and it starts with I'm alive and the world shines on me today I'm alive that's what they sound like and if you know ELO you know I'm I'm not that far off I don't think I think I hear it I can't tell in my head, it's like, that's pretty close. So there's that happening. And then later on, there's a scene with Gene Kelly and Olivia Newton-John. And it's very, oh, I love this song so much. Whenever you're away from me, wherever you go, you're never far away from me. I think I just changed keys. I'm sorry. I am sick. I want you to know. I don't like it when that happens, but I do seem to recognize it sometimes. I think I just, a little, something weird happened. Anyway, so, oh, it's so good. And they tap dance together and it's just, it's so, it's all over the place. The movie is all over the place, but in a fun way. <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun. 
Um, the, the end scene with Xanadu, Xanadu, uh, and then the the different co there's costume changes at the end that you would. I'm telling you, this is something that really should be big again. If it's not big, like I know a lot of movies make like resurgences, and people suddenly are like, oh my god, this movie. And there's a younger generation like rewatching it. This is one of those movies that I think like some people, maybe not the younger generation, but I feel like people who are into the future 80s, horror, people who are into the future 80s and who are into the future disco will love that movie, will love so many things about that movie. If you can watch that movie, I am not a sponsor for anything. I, there's another part that I really appreciate because I know that she does the multiple harmonies, which is so nice because, ugh. So good. If you like it when, if you like mashups, this, this song, this movie did a mashup of two songs that I'm sure if you're good with music and music theory or anything like that and you watch it, you're like, oh, of course those two would go together. But when we were younger and we're watching it, we don't really think about it. And you hear this rock song, oh, I won't take a back seat tonight. Ooh. And then you hear, anybody who. Anybody needed someone to? It's just like, okay. And then it just, oh. But she's singing that and she sings the harmonies in it. And even the blending of the backgrounds, it's just so fun. That movie is so fun. And then, um, like I said, the end sequence. Xanadu, I have to believe we are magic. Nothing can stand in our way. Um, and a really nice song that I actually, <laughs> I sang once on this channel. And I left the video up for maybe a day. And then I took it down because that's what I do sometimes. Um, maybe I'll re-record it someday on TikTok or something because that's where stuff like that could probably stay a little bit better. But it was called Suspend Me in Time. I think Suspended in Time or something like that. Keep me suspended in time with you. Don't let this moment die. My voice is going. I get a feeling when I get a feeling when I'm with you. None of the rules apply. But I know for certain goodbye is a crime. So love if you need me. Suspend me in time. I did not take a big enough breath. I never know where to breathe. I'm not a singer. I just like to sing and mimic, but I've talked long enough and I don't want to edit too much of this. So basically, um, cause I feel like there's a lot of, there's enough edited stuff on YouTube. There's enough edited stuff everywhere. And everyone keeps talking about like, that's the thing I noticed on TikTok. Everyone keeps talking about how you can't believe everything you see and there's a filter on everything, and I'll, I might even put a filter on this because I don't have my ring light. You can see there's no ring light in my eyes. I have the little, just the, one of those booby lights above me, um, and the TV is on, but I like paused it because I wanted to mention this because I thought of this movie while I was doing a million things at once. Um, <laughs> TikTok, uh, I understand why. So many people are talking about ADHD and autism and BPD and all these things because legitimately, unless it's just because the AI is so good at, at figuring out my algorithm and what I want and what I may be leaning towards, um, I was inundated quite a bit with things about that and I have zero problem with it. I like learning and I relate to so much of it as a matter of fact. But um, I've ultimately decided, I've not been diagnosed, still have to deal with it, but I ultimately decided that I'm probably not really ADHD, although there may be something adjacent to that, because I'm not really hyperactive. Um, the way I speak might be, but I think that's more of a PTSD from a trauma that I received, because that's when it really ramped up. And... Um, on top of that, I believe that I may be autistic. And the reason I believe that is so many reasons. There's so many reasons, not even a little reason. And I've been thinking this way since I started researching this for my son. And the more I see in him and the more I learn about him and the more I have to think about 
the way he has to think about things and the more I realize I would have wanted certain allowances the way I'm giving to him and the way I realized that nobody knew that. And I, this is never me. I'm, I'm like, I've grown in such a way that when I was probably 10 or so years younger, even I may have said, yeah, everyone did this to me, but you know what? I've gotten to a point where I'm like, yeah, people did this because they didn't realize that maybe this was happening and maybe they shouldn't react to this. And I didn't know that, so I couldn't tell them that that was a thing that they should do. So both of us just didn't know and went about our ways. So, like, I'm not talking abuse or anything like that. I'm talking about just comments that might be deemed as like, oh, that's bullying. Well, it, technically, it was just like, you know, us just messing around with each other. But thinking back, I don't think people realize how much it could impact certain people. And when you get called weird weird doesn't bother me but when you get called weird and you get told why do you act like that but then these people who say these things continue to push buttons or talk to you in certain ways and then expect you to react a completely different way than those things they keep asking you why do you act that way you know it just doesn't make sense um and one could try to say it's gaslighting because that word gets thrown around a, a lot. Or one could understand that sometimes it's because people don't understand. People just don't understand. And if you don't understand yourself at the time too, there's no way you can tell them, wait, you're saying I'm weird and then you're, you're attacking me for being weird. And then when I react in a weird way, you're saying, why are you reacting in a weird way? And I'm like, well, you just said I was, cause I'm weird. That's why I'm reacting to weird. And you're just getting mad at me for reacting like a weird person when you already know I'm weird. So it's like, why would you get mad? You know, it's, it's a cycle, but it's not, it's not an intentional cycle and you can get mad at people for that. But honestly, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, unless someone was actually being a bully to me and they knew they were being a bully. I have no reason to be mad at anybody, but I just wanted to bring that up. I don't know why I put that at the end. It's a little, always got to be a little bit of a downer. You're getting, you're getting me on this channel. You're not getting every single thing about me because like you have to keep things to yourself. You have to keep things to yourself. But even if it's a filtered version, you're getting pretty close just so you know. And, um, and I'll be real with another part of me. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I like to be by myself a lot. And it doesn't mean I don't like people. It's just I like to be by myself. So. And people are like, oh, we should hang out sometime. You don't have to. Like, can we talk? I want to talk to you. I would love to talk to you. But we don't have to hang out because I don't want to, I'm tired. And I just, I have to take care of my son. Just, it's just a lot right now. So, you know what I mean? But I do want to talk. I want to talk. I want to hear everything you have to tell me. Just don't come near me. You know what I mean? Does anyone else feel like that? This says, sounds like a bitch, but I don't care. That's the truth. I just want you to know the truth about me. <laughs> you got to be real sometimes. This is, that's the real. Okay, okay. That's the real. All right. I'm not going out because I'm, I'm tired and I'm getting to that goofy point. That's when, that's when TikTok comes in handy. You guys don't want those little spurts. Or if you do, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Shameless.